I'm going to teach you how to configure OSPF on Cisco Packet Tracer using Cisco routers. So I already have everything configured here. All the hosts can ping the respective default gateways, but we cannot ping from host to host because there is no routing protocol in the middle. So this tutorial will just be to for to show you the commands on how to actually configure it on routers. So uh, let's start configuring. So yeah, from here you type fig t, probably already know that, obviously, so you can use router OSPF, and then we need a process ID, so process ID can be through 1 through 65,000, or whatever number it was, let's see, let's, let's see what the number was, router OSPF, what, 65,535, yeah, but we're just going to use 1 for a uh, I mean, why not use one? So now, once we get the router OSPF, we need to add networks. So we're going to do network, uh, this network right here. You have to do both these networks. So let's start off with the 1.129. So it's 192.168.1.129. They slash 26. And instead of using the satellite mask, we would have to use the wildcard mask. And that would be 000. 63 and uh, we have to add an area to the to define where OSPF would stop and that would be area 0 or default is area 0 but you could choose up to whatever number you wanted and it'll tell you that it started building link state algorithms with other OSPF routers available all right we have to add the next network now network we're going to add a 15.1, so it's going to be 2168, 15.1, the slash 30, so the wildcard mask would be 000.3. And let's make the area 0 again, because we're still in one autonomous system. One autonomous system. Okay. Now, since that's done, figure out a 2 now. And again, we're going to do the same thing, so it's config t router OSPF oh right had to add the process ID and now we're going to add the networks now network uh, 192 let's add 15 first that's 68.15.2 with a 0, 0, 0 0.3 area 0 so now we're going to add the next one which is right here So that's the network 192.168.0.1 with a slash 24. So the wildcard card mask would be 0, 0, 0 0.255 with the area being 0. Okay, since now that's done, we should be able to ping from router to router, I mean, from host to host. So this host would ping 192.168.0.2. Uh, 192.168.0.2. And sure enough, we get replies, and that's basically how to configure OSPF with no additional configurations.